All right, let's pick this up. I got to be somewhere. Uh, hey, everybody. What's up there? Mic check, mic check. What is up, everybody? Edward Bontel bringing you a uh, post-game commentary of the Fractured Butthole. And the reason for that is, is because apparently my mic wasn't working in episode 16, which is this one, if I'm not mistaken. I believe it's 16. Uh, and that was recorded a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I'm actually doing this on the day that I recorded episode 17 through 20, so a uh, little behind-the-scenes featurette right there if you want. And uh, this is just keeps going. Is, are we going to get to the footage at some point? Okay, here we go. All right, so I guess we're starting off here in the bathroom. I am not good at post Why does everything look brighter than it should? Oh, because it's recording. Okay, that makes sense then. Uh, I, I, okay, okay, so, yeah, this, this, this one didn't seem too bad. Uh, <laughs> I really do enjoy these. I believe that this is Token's girlfriend's house. I don't know the name of her off the top of my head. But I do believe this is happening during the mission where the cops send you to go deal with quote-unquote drug lords and kingpins. And I think it's just her, her dad in the house. And so yeah, I, I had little to no problem with that. I mean, it was a three-star, but we've seen me be terrible at this, so. Oh, jump cut! Okay, uh, this is, this is the dad. Uh, this, <laughs> Gage and Gage. Uh, the fight was pretty... Is actually pretty easy as you'll see. Literally, it's a it's a three by three grid. Watch how easily I beat this guy. It's literally just one round of fighting him, and uh, yeah, and then you get that little fart in there. Watch, you just get that little fart in there and blammo. So I'm not really good at post game commentary. Uh, we may have to cut out some video. I got an achievable right there. We may have to cut out some video in the later parts, because I might just say, fuck it, I'm done. And, uh, but yeah, so we got that. I got the little rainbow mask. This is, uh, oh, I remember this. This is where you put the, uh, the guy's little face, uh, his, his mugshot. Which I believe, yeah, you find another one in the trash can. Which means that they had already thrown it away. So, back to these guys. Once again, Paps Blue Ribbon in the background. As I said, we literally just got done editing. I believe it was episode 15. I want to say it was 15, and that this is 16. That I actually like that little bit because they they always do that in games where they're oh, it's getting laggy. That that okay. Um, but anyways, yeah. So they send you after these crime lords. Uh, I believe we're going to Token's house. As I did just do this, finish this mission, and uh, you end up having to fight these, this security guard guy again, but he's got dogs, and this entire fight, I did not let my guy fight a single dog, because I just, I did not like, I did not like fighting the dogs at all, um, I'm perfectly fine with beating the shit out of the uh, security guard and his team, which I think it's shown after this, uh, yeah. That, I do not like that. I don't like the fact that you can hear the dogs whine in pain. I'm not really big on fighting animals in most games. Like, with fantasy settings, it's fine, because it's a fantasy setting. But this is, this is presented as being a little more, you know, less fantastical, in a way. And, uh, it's just not fun. Also, who the hell uses a golden retriever as an attack dog? Honestly. But yeah, this whole fight just kind of brought back memories from uh, Stick of Truth, because you had to fight the security guard. Oh, here comes the other security guards. Uh, it just brings it back, because you gotta have that, you got to have that gas mask so he can't pepper spray you. And that was back when that, that meme about the security guard thing just kept coming over. Oh. Here we go with... <laughs> with... Uh, Kyle's cousin. I never did finish the story that I was telling Jared in the last episode, but there's this story from an Australia. There's, there's this bunch of guys from Australia that made this show, and I really like the character, and even though he's a bumblefuck and everybody hates him. So, uh, that was my post game commentary that didn't actually last as long as I thought it did, so I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out! Oh, uh, one more thing I forgot to mention during this fight, which I thought was really interesting. 
Um, when the two security guards came in, they, they uh, stun-grenaded Captain Diabetes, and he got confused. But because he was the only one near there, he just kept pegging him with the, uh, the diabet- what is it, what is it called? The diabetic rush or the sugar- the, the, the one with the shell, where he just pushes outward in, four, in the four cardinal directions. And it was really great, so I just- I decided to add that part in. So, uh, with that being said, this will be the end of the post-game commentary. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out! We done?